www.mymydad.com In the previous video, we have already learned how to calculate the profit and loss of a particular team. Here in this video, we would learn to calculate the profit percentage denoted as P percent and loss percentage denoted as L percent. But why do we need to calculate percentage when we have already learned to calculate profit and loss? Is it because maths has a habit of being complicated? Well, no. This is much more than this and it's really interesting. Let's have a look. Or we denote it as P percent is calculated as Profit upon the cost price multiplied by 100. The same way, loss percentage or denoted as L percent is equal to loss upon cost price into 100. Since this is a matter of percentage, 100 comes into roll. And one thing that has to be noted is whether it is profit percent or it is loss percent, it will always be calculated on CP. Well, this is not the cannot place of Delhi, but it is the cost price. Once again, profit percent or loss percent is always calculated on cost price. Here is the formula. We are taking another two cases with the same profits but different profit percentage. Let us see how even by booking the same profit, they one of them is actually making more profit. Mehul bought a pencil box at rupees 25. The CP is rupees 25 and sold it for rupees 50. SP is more than CP, so there is the profit which is SP minus CP, which is 50 minus 25 comes out to be rupees. 25. In this case, Govin sold his pen for rupees 100, which he bought at rupees 75. Since SP is more than CP, again. Profit is rupees 25. Now let us see the magic of percentage. Profit percent is equal to profit upon CP in 200. Now let's put the values. Profit is rupees 25 divided by the cost price. That is 25 into 100. The profit comes out, percentage comes out to be 100% in this case. Wow, 100% profit. Good deal. Mayu? Now coming to this example. Profit percentage is profit upon CP into 100 which is equal to 25 upon 75 into 100.
Let us see this example. Sangeeta bought a sari worth rupees 2000. CP becomes rupees 2000. She sold it for rupees 5000. The selling price becomes 5000. What is the profit or loss percentage that she made? Since CP is more than Sorry, since SP is more than CP, she booked a profit, which would be calculated as SP minus CP, which would come out to be 5000 minus 2000, that is rupees 3000. Don't stop here. Read. We have asked to calculate the profit percentage or loss percentage. So, Moving ahead, profit percentage, which is equal to profit upon cost price multiplied by 100, which comes out to be rupees 3000 divided by the cost price rupees 2000 into 100. Rupees, I'm sorry, this is profit, so there will be percentage 150%. So she made a profit of 150%. Do not worry, profit percentage may go above 100. This is how it is simple. You first have to identify the cost price, selling price. You have to see which one of these is greater. Then you have to see, apply the formula and then since percentage is asked, you have to apply the respective formula for that. And please remember to put this unit. Let's have a look at this example. Sangeeta bought a sari for rupees 2000. Her cost price becomes rupees 2000. She got the embroidery done on it worth rupees 700. We leave this section as of now. She had to sell it for rupees 2500. So her selling price becomes 2500. What is the profit percentage or loss percentage booked by her? Now, if this line was not there, your life would have been easy. You had CP, you had SP you would have calculated the profit and loss respectively. But there is a star point. She got the embroidery done on the sari which was worth rupees 700. That means Sangeeta had to pay rupees 700 to get this embroidery done on the sari. She had to pay to buy this embroidery done. Right? So, this also becomes her cost price. So, rather than just 2000, what is the total spent or the net cost price of Sangeeta? CP1, CP2. We can name it as CP1, we can name it as CP2, and the net CP. We can write it as, denote it as CP, the sum of CP1 and CP2. That is 2000 plus 700. That comes out to be 2700. So the net cost price for Sangeeta was rupees 2700. Zero. And her selling price is the same. 2500. She sold it for 2500. So now which one of these is greater? CP. Since CP is greater than SP, she booked a loss. And we would calculate loss as CP minus SP which will come out to be 2700 
minus 2500 that is 200. This is the loss. Loss is rupees 200. Read again. The question demands percentage loss and percentage profit. So we have to calculate the loss percent. Let's cover it here. Loss percentage is loss divided by CP into 100. What is the loss? Rupees 200. What is the CP? Again, CP is the net CP that we would use here. 2700 into 100. We cancel these and the net result comes out to be 